So right now it's currently in mid. Splatus Justice is trying to make it work. Uh, the Rainmaker has been reset to the middle. And the score is still the same. Komodo sitting at 1. Uh, Splatus Justice sitting at 38. We have 30 seconds left in the game. And Adam so Isaac, far... They really yeah. need to make something happen like in the next 20 seconds or it's going to be over very soon. It's already two down on the side of Komodo, so we just need one more pick. Maybe pick up the Rainmaker would be great for them. Dude, imagine they make like the craziest upset and score right I, now. I Wait, that. no, 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 they can see! Oh, they can oh see. my god, we can oh, see! Oh, okay, we're back, we're oh, back, we're oh, back. Oh, oh. oh goodness, I'm, I'm sorry about that pop-off. Now, you guys can see the last 10 seconds of this game. You guys, you guys ready? Here's the shocking on the left. Will it be able to actually kill the Rainmaker when they try to pick it up? To start the rain the overtime, the overtime is over. And it's already the end of this game. <laughs> that was... Incredible. <laughs> Yo, can someone call up AGDQ, because that was the fastest Splatoon game I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> It was on for 10 seconds and it was gone. <laughs> faster than, faster than, uh, oh goodness, what was it, uh, not Mori Taz, what was it? It's a oh, Black Belt Skate Park. Rainmaker Black Belt Skate Park. Anyway, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, this, this was a general kill count. Pixel got the most kills uh, for their team, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's game very, one to Very, very good to know. <laughs> oh. All right, so, it seems to be working, so we're going to head towards Spazen's Mark Marts. Fasten's Makuma are really complicated map to hold control for a very long time. It's very easy to cap it back when you play bowlers, ink storms, uh, kind of uh, our specials. I think Stinger is fine here, but you know, with the recent patch we saw, there was a buff to Eliter. And Eliter, Ooh. I think it might have a chance to come back in the Spasen's meta. We saw it yesterday at the BNS Grand Finals. It was, it was between two uh, Eliters, between Power and the Japanese guy. And I think it's one of the maps where Elite is probably going to be very, very strong. It could even be replacing the Ballpoint Nouveau, who was beforehand the best choice for backline in Inkstorm. You were so able to see, yeah, I was going to say, because there's a lot of hallways here. There's a, you're, there's a lot you're able to see if you are a Charger. Yeah. And having that control over the map from the backlines is going to be very quintessential in holding down the point. Exactly. And I think playing a very aggressive comp here is kind of complicated because it's one of the best maps for Fizzy Bomb as well. It depends if you want if you choose to go Kinsey Machine, but a lot of teams are choosing to go Kinsey Machine right now. The last patch didn't quite nerf it, they just chose to like lower down the splash down points to get the special, so I assume we're going to see a lot of Kinsey Machine here. I can see it too, and then what do you think about Tower Control Manta Maria? Who, who, what team do you think this favors? I kind of want to see more about these teams because I haven't seen their comp more. You know? <laughs> Actually, like, you know what? That's very true. I guess we really haven't made too much sense <laughs> of their comp so far. So I just want to wait for, the, for this first map. But I think Tower Control, Minta Maria, I can really favor Komodo because they seem to have a, a more uh, adapted comp for Tower Control. All right. Let's go into it. The first game we're able to see. Make some noise, everybody, for game number two of our redemption bracket. And Komodo this time versus Splatish And we have the explosion, uh, custom explosion coming on the side of... Uh, Komodo, and I think it's a really good choice in this map. It's n it's not it's not an elite because elite is super hard to play, but I think Splash is really great here. Ooh, we're gonna see pretty much a nice little kerfuffle starting it up here. We're gonna have one person going down from Splatish Justice as Komodo slowly moves into the point. A little bit of a blaster versus bucket action going on the right here, and that is and three. That's a that's, 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 that's a full white man. That is completely and we have solidly Komodo. Already pushing on the right side. Uh, Willis ends up already ready. Uh, to get his armor ready for his team when the push comes in. And he's going to be forced to back up from this Toxic Mist. I love how they're just hiding back there, man. They are perfectly flanking, trying waiting to get for the kills. It's very important that the Blaster get some picks on the top left here, where we are, because this is how you get a hold going. Ooh, dude, those kills though, man, that was looking clean. That was looking really, very clean, and it's really, really good uh, team coordination between Komodo players. Ooh. They both follow up the damage each other. We have Umbre putting down some Blaster damage, and Izzel following with the Burst Bomb. That's really what you want to see from these from the players when you are pushing together. This is an amazing lockdown right here. There's it only is, like, it is. It definitely there's like is. 20 seconds left on the board, and they have no options to get back in. And I can we can see that Komodo is backing up a bit. They're seeing that Fight Justice has the specials ready. They want to use their specials back and cap the zone. I come, and they're coming back for zone, and it's going to be the end of this game very soon. Only two people left. That's a full wipe. It's a full wipe. It's over right there. It was Komodo, a hold. Komodo cleanly taking Definitely. that second game. Well, I gotta admit, I was asking before what you thought about who's, who has potential for the third game, and so far I think it's gonna be Komodo. But, yeah, uh, I agree. We'll see how it works, man. I'll, let's see if Splatter's Justice can uh, show off a little bit and see what they can do. They got those two wins, man. Keep them under their belt. It looks like they're going two and two down the bottom there. 
Definitely. So uh, don't forget, man, Redemption Bracket, how it works. Pretty much half the teams you're going to be seeing here are going to be making it out, and half the team are going to be out, <laughs> are just going to be gone and gone and done. Uh, so Komodo is trying to look to get back in it. So this last game, I mean, this Tower Control Mantle Maria might be the last game and might settle the Fate versus Pixel. Uh, I mean, kind of drama, maybe. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they'll. I'm sure they'll laugh about it afterwards. At the end of the day, you know, two 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 relationship couples are having having a fun time here exactly. on, the, on the battlefield. Love is war and all that. All right. I mean, at least they have a little bit of a download on each other. You yeah. know, when you're with someone that much, you at least have a good idea. Oh, they're gonna roll here with the duelies. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I see you avoiding this conversation. Oh, you're gonna I roll mean, with the duelies too. <laughs> what about duelies? Like, do you talk about my duelies. <laughs> Man, people. I'm just saying, man. There might be some call-outs. People are just gonna be like, "Oh, I know how you. I know. I know how you work around how, how you work around your conversations. Maybe that's how you're gonna work around the battlefield." Anyway. <laughs> anyway, tower control, Mentor Maria. Uh, I think this is a, a pretty balanced map, honestly. Like, not much to be said, but it, it's pretty slow, so you can really have some uh, team coordination going. You can wait for your teammates, like, get together to some positions to defend the tower. Uh, there are two main positions you want to control when you push: either the top left or the bunker. And if you can have one of the two slayers on each of these positions, you are really in a good position in general. Uh, this is one of the only maps that nowadays really favor the Inkjet as well in tower control. Uh, you have a really big snowball potential here. And Komodo just had such a lockdown. Like, did, man, I did. didn't see too much about game one. It looked like it was a little bit more interesting in game one. Splash Justice had a little bit more on the board. But man, that second game, they didn't give him anything. And, and we're going to have Komodo ooh. choosing to go for that Inkjet. And a pretty short range comp, actually. They don't have much aggression going, I feel. like They're lacking some maybe kind of duelies or machine. And on the side of Spice Justice, I think I prefer Spice Justice team composition here. But I like the idea of a close range build because, man, there's a lot of walls in here. And if you can hide behind the tower, if you can make some plays happen, I, actually, all I, it takes is a couple splats true. and you can see some good things happen. That's very true. And the Charger got very important being here at Umbre. It's a 2 2 situation right now. Only Charger alive is going to have to back up. And try and survive and save this, this Stingray. To they do have that teammates. Stingray, man. It's so important to keep that in a tower control situation. Look, look, look at Pixel! What are you doing, Pixel? Pixel's just walking around the point, man. Controlling their turf. Marking their territory. And here comes the Stingray pretty early, but already coming for the first checkpoints. And the first, and the Stingray doesn't seem to get a lot of value outside of getting Pixel out of the tower. It looks like we're going to see some people from Komodo try and take the right path. Although and here comes I the mean, armor on the Tower's Passage Justice. It's only one player trying to stop, uh, trying to stop this push. It's going to be very complicated for him to deal with this. Still gets the trade with Idzel, and uh, and at this time it's we have only two players on the side of Komodo, uh, but they have the Stingray ready, and Umbre is on the front line right now. Yeah, so far this isn't looking too bad. The Komodo hasn't made any big significant pushes right here. You see a little bit of Dooley action coming in here. DJ and is it's a very oh, important kill. Oh, they it are going to get Stingray that, and he saves the push. That's a very very clutch kill to get. Every time a backline gets a kill on the front line, that's trying to get him out. When he has the Stingray ready. It's one of the most important kills you can get in tower control ring. Okay, so. Oh yeah, they're jumping back. They're going to be using that stingray, and marking the point, stingray of this course, time. and, and really be able to to get a, to get a counter ray and not this time. And the push doesn't seem to be going very well for Komodo. It seems to be really like completely stopped here. I mean, hey, that's a good sign. That's a, definitely a definitely good sign for Splatter's Justice. As it looks like they're starting to move in here, trying to get and them. It, th it seems that Komodo has passed the first choke point, and this first choke point is very important for them because their weapons have very small range. And they need to go towards this path to no. actually get some value from it. This choke point, I agree, it's incredibly important because sometimes it's so hard to actually make it by. It looks like we're going to have a pseudo wipe coming out. And sure. Splat is Justice. This is their opportunity. They're slowly making their way in. It's their moment. They need a player to go to top left. I feel they have three players focusing right now on the bunker. And it's only going to be up to Pixel and Little South DJ. But Umbre, we can see him on the left side. He's not blocked by any Ooh. player. He's not pressured. He can drop on tower and, and get the kill easily. Yeah, looks like yeah, look at look at Umbre on the left there, man. And I think they they're gonna the, they're gonna uh, swoop in. They're definitely gonna swoop in at some point. No one and Pixel running around too! And they, they already two down. And Pixel versus Faith! Pixel, it's Faith getting the duel of the end of. Komodo's moving in very nicely right now. Oh actually, oh I was gonna say, I saw Vale sneaking around right yeah. there. I thought for a second, I thought for just a second they might be able to get a kill, but they were stuffed out pretty fast. Hitzel throwing into those suction bombs. Look at the coverage he's able to put out with those things, man. You cannot approach it. Map control back here. It's pretty important for Komodo to stop this push. This tap on the great might go down to Hombre. Let's go. I'm re pushing now. Uh, this bunker very important for him to push it with the with the blaster. It's one of the best positions for blaster in this map. And oh this so God. far, man, this is and a he got much the pick closer the game than it was before, man. 
Like, 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 compared to the Splat Zones map, this is way, way closer. Look it at Umbre coming around here. Gonna be getting that blaster shot, almost getting a third. That would have been a very, very good kill for them. But either way, it looks really, like they are gonna be able really, to take this point. It's really good push for, for a Komodo right now. They have, the, they have the armor, they use the Stingray. If Umbre can come back quickly, they can have the inkjet value and the pressure he can get from it. And then now the bomber's coming from Midzel now. They might not go much further than 25 because it's very hard to drop down here and take the tower. But it's already a very good lead for them. Oh yeah, no kidding. Because now, now, Splat is Justice also has to get past their checkpoint. They do, they, they do. have to get past all that little choke point, And that's going to be a very difficult ask on this map. It sure is going to be. Ooh, but Umbre coming in here with the sync jet, looking really clean. It Guarded. Might not be oh, no, yeah. he, he's going to get splatted right out there. He almost that got it. That was really weird play by Splat, by Justice. You like, let this, the inject pass and then punish the landing, I feel. Oh yeah, I mean of course. Like, like whenever you see it, whenever you see an inkjet go up, man, you got it's gotta come down. And maybe <laughs> if you gotta, gotta suction your bob ready for them to eat up, baby, you know. That's all you need sometimes. Apologize getting a little loud there. Nebby looking around right here, gonna be trying to find a kill on that blaster. That's gonna be a pretty tough kill to get. But they are gonna be moving in from the top, trying to find something. Heavy at the ball already, might going for the aggro play here. Oh, he's waiting. Get stuck on the wall! Oh, what is this movement? Oh my god, what, what was that? <laughs> baby, into the spider-verse! He's going around the wall, baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was gross. He was able to get a kill from that, but man, that, that was something. Oh, oh Umbre with the I'm blaster coming from, from the behind. It was really important for them to get that kill. Maybe Faye getting the kill on Umbre. Oh, Umbre gets another kill from behind. He just stands in mid and gets all the kill his team needs. And he has, they, they have three specials ready. It might, not, it might be very complicated for Faye's Justice to come back from it. Oh, dude, this is like a minigame, maybe. Stingray versus Inkjet? Nah, it does look like Umbre and everyone else is going to hold this down. Man, I think... This is so chalked up to Umbre's blaster play. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're going to be taking it back. That is going to be a solid 3-0 from Komodo. Man, those blaster plays. This those were, were so, good. so good. Like, and dude. Yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead. I think Spice Justice, they had a correct comp to deal with the blaster. But nevertheless, you really have to predict where it's going to go. And it was very often behind them or in a position where they couldn't reach. And this map, you really have to keep... In, in your mind, everywhere, every time where the blaster is.